Welcome to episode one of my postpartum body transformation non-surgical edition, which means we have to go to the gym. Yay me. Just kidding. Super blessed and grateful that I have a capable and able body to be able to do this. I'm just really not liking the way that my body looks. Nothing screams postpartum journey than dragging your baby along with you everywhere you go. And here's my seven month postpartum body in all its glory. rough calculations this is about 30 grams of protein I recently had a little moment okay a moment where it snapped me back to reality it was like okay girl you need to get your shit together and that moment was none other than booking our vacation for next month which is really only in two weeks and don't get me wrong it's so exciting you know vacation we're going outside the country for the first time with the baby i'm so excited honestly like i cannot wait to be on the beach i cannot wait to be by the ocean but the thing that really got me is the swimsuit part i tried on all of my pre-pregnancy swimsuits which is probably something i shouldn't have done but i really just wanted to see like do i need to buy more do these fit what do i need to pack what do i need to buy and um, I literally almost cried that day and now I'm on this whole thing of like I need to lose weight I'm not liking the way my body looks I'm super self-conscious currently seven months postpartum almost eight and up until now I've been feeling really good about my body I haven't been over analyzing anything I've just been feeling good I'm only 10 pounds above my pre-pregnancy weight and yeah I just been feeling good you know but all of a sudden, I'm like super self-conscious. I swear I'm so freaking fat. And those like last 10 pounds are really getting to me. Let me tell you this, I've been at this weight in the past and just to be completely transparent, I'm currently like 135, but 135 pre-pregnancy looks completely different than 135 now. So yeah. So yeah, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself. I know this is a journey, but honestly booking the vacation has really like put a little pep in my step because I'm like, no, I want to at least attempt to try and feel better about the way that I look before we go. Even though we only have two weeks, I know I'm like, you know, on a really short timeline, but at least if I'm working out more, I will feel better physically and maybe that'll help me feel better about the way that I look, you know? I don't know. I'm trying not to ruin the freaking vacation for myself either, so I just need to get out of my head. Also, I have freaking planet Mars on my chin, and it's giving me a little PTSD because if you know, you know that I was on Accutane, which means my acne has been pretty bad in the past, and I'm just scared, like, is this the start of it all? Because this is like a pretty big guy on my face. It also is period week, so I'm trying not to think about it too much, but we'll see. I'm just gonna do two braids to keep my hair out of my face. I actually washed my hair the other day, and I didn't style it or anything. My hair has no product in it right now. I've just been wearing these braids, or just keeping it out, honestly, and it actually feels really nice and soft. I want to say that this is not the actual start of my postpartum fitness journey. I started working out again around two, almost three months postpartum, and in the beginning, I was just going to the gym and doing like body weight workouts or like lightweight exercises, trying to really focus on core workouts and stuff like that. And then I slowly incorporated running, but running was hard for me because honestly, I could not run for a long period of time without literally pissing my pants. <laughs> I don't know if that's TMI or not, but we're just gonna get all into it over here when it comes to postpartum because yeah, that was a little annoying. Now it's definitely gotten better and I've been running more. And most recently, I've been more focused on cardio because I really wanna focus on weight loss before I get into like trying to build any more muscle back up because like I said earlier, I'm just really not liking the way that my body looks. And honestly, I'm not really concerned about the number, like the 135 number, the 125 number. I don't really care. I just want to look in the mirror or put a certain outfit on or put a swimsuit on and feel good about the way that I look. I don't care if I'm like 150, you know, I just want my body to look a certain way. I want to be more toned. I feel like I just have a lot of extra fat on my body and I don't know. But yeah, right now I'm focusing on weight loss, so I've just been doing a lot of cardio. Today I'm probably gonna do like a three mile run and then maybe some like body work, but or like some body workouts. I really would like to find a program 
or like a personal trainer but honestly i'm really not trying to spend money which when there's like so much free information on the internet but at the same time i feel like it's too much information and it gets overwhelming for me but i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do i was following a program from one of my internet friends i literally feel like she's my friend even though i never met her but her name is kamara and she has like a whole fitness page on instagram and tiktok and I was following a program that I bought from her like before I got pregnant and it's great but it's just that I go to a small community gym where there's not much equipment so I have to like modify a lot of things and I just it was just annoying honestly so I trying to just do my own thing right now but I'll show you guys a gym that I go to it's very small I'm eating like half of a banana before I go I'm just trying to fill my water bottle and it's currently 8.20, so it's pretty early. I'm hoping nobody's there because I like to work out in peace. Not that other people bother me, but I literally have so much gym anxiety that I just, I like working out alone. I like to use these Propel electrolytes. This is the raspberry lemonade flavor. I feel like it tastes like a melted Jolly Rancher. It's so good. My baby's crying. Oh, he's whining. I need to go get him. Nothing screams postpartum journey than dragging your baby along with you everywhere you go. I take him to the gym every time I go. Even if I go for a run, I'm literally pushing him in the stroller. He's obsessed with Maui. You obsessed with Maui? His favorite song is about to come up. But yeah, he comes to work out with me every day. You're welcome. I see. Look at him smiling. Yeah. Eyes, let's begin. The hair, the box. You're welcome. We're on our walk to the gym. It's only like five, seven minutes from my house. And there's no cars. So that's a good thing. We're literally right here. And it's a really pretty day out. It's actually so pretty. There's not even one cloud out. But I feel good. I want to get this workout on. Got a little warm up with this walk. I'm trying to like speed walk. Something's wrong with my stroller tire. But I love the stroller because I could fit all the gym essentials down there. I have like my mat, my water bottle. I have some ankle weights and stuff. But y'all, yeah, I'm out of breath. It's actually empty, so I'm excited. I get to work out in peace, and hopefully nobody comes while I'm working out. <laughs> I'm so antisocial, it's horrible. But anyway, this is the gym that I go to. It's super tiny, as you can see. Let's do a little gym tour, okay? Over here we have like elliptical cardio, I guess. I don't know what that is, but I never use any of this, so who cares? Then we have this thing that I also don't know what the hell's going on over here. I do sometimes use it for um, those like cable kickback things. But, I don't know, don't really know what's going on. I tried to use this bar before, like to do um, like squats, but it's like, it's so awkward. It's like an awkward position, or maybe I just don't know how to use it. Then we have this little arm thing, dumbbells, treadmill. Okay, you guys, it is the next day. The gym's empty. I'm gonna show you guys my workout for today. I have been focusing on weight loss, so I've been really like, doing a lot of cardio because for me that usually helps me lose weight the quickest but then last night I came to the realization that I haven't even been feeling sore and I've been going to the gym pretty much five to six times a day or a week for the past two weeks and I'm like wow when was the last time I actually pushed myself and I felt like I put in the work and I don't even know so I'm like maybe I need to switch it up so today I'm gonna do like some interval running and then do a workout that I kind of planned out last night with the dumbbells and we'll see how it goes I don't really know also we're gonna do a quick seven month postpartum body update I guess you can say I really just want to have this to like look back and see the actual progress and here's my seven month postpartum body in all its glory
five exercises I'm going to do sumo squats, lateral lunges, backward lunges, RDLs, and single leg hip thrusts. Some of these exercises I've never done before, so please be kind. I'm also open to like any advice you guys can give me when it comes to working out. I feel like I've been working out for years, but I always feel so new to going to the gym. Like I never really explore new workouts, explore machines, explore exercises. I literally stick to cardio abs and like some squats and lunges. Like that's the basis of my knowledge when it comes to working out. Yeah, I'm open to any advice, kind advice. Be positive and be kind and be gentle with me because this is new to me and I don't want to get my feelings hurt, okay? Okay, we are back home. Hopefully I have inserted some footage of me working out from like tomorrow for the next day that I work out because as I was talking to you guys, somebody had walked in with their kids, which I'm like, why are these kids in school? But maybe they're homeschooled, I don't know. But I'm about to make a little egg omelet and I've also been adding egg whites to get some extra protein because I'm trying to reach a goal of 80 grams of protein a day even though I don't really measure like I didn't measure that but I'm pretty sure that was more than two servings which is only three tablespoons so anyway <laughs> why is so far why are you so far away you so silly you so silly you so silly baby According to my rough calculations, this is about 30 grams of protein. Well, like I said, I don't really measure anything, but I'm using a little thing on my phone. 
I'm using my fitness pal actually to calculate my calories and stuff for the day. And I'm not trying to calorie count because I really want to make this process like easy, no pressure, like, you know, I just want to make it an enjoyable process for me. Yeah, but overall, I really just want to make this whole like weight loss slash fitness journey as easy and enjoyable as possible. I don't want to stress over numbers of things, like whether that's my weight or the number of calories I'm eating. Like, I just want to overall be healthy. Oh, and I also want it to be more of like a lifestyle change and changing my daily habits versus me going on a diet or me following a fitness challenge. Like things are on, things that are only temporary, you know? So yeah, that's where my mindset is at with this. I really just want to make it an enjoyable process, something easy that makes it easy to be consistent. I'm eating my omelet and adding I'm adding some salsa on my omelet. And then baby's eating banana oatmeal. Give me one more.